Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Ogre Battle 64. Time for the next stage. Scene 37. Promises. We're finally assaulting Winnie itself. Can we accomplish what we need to? Can we stop? Uh, oh, well, speak of the devil. Why? Why hasn't the forbidden spell been cast yet? King Newmill the Chosen. Would you mind keeping quiet for a while? I can't cast it now. Lamar's coming. But, why are you here? You don't belong here any longer. What are you saying, Newmill? You Use the spell! Finish this! You can't stop me. Goodbye, father. Jumo? That is one serious, one hell of a line. Nothing can stop me, except... Look, if you're saying I have to be the one to stop you, then so be it. Uh, why are you making me? You will not be able to dispatch legions during this campaign. Blah 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 blah. We've heard this before. Thank you, Hugo. Do not worry. Let's evaluate the current situation. This is our plan for sieging the castle. For this campaign, we have set up a temporary headquarters southwest of the castle. We will march on Castle Winnea, which is protected by three sets of walls. We must liberate the castle and prevent the use of the ultimate power. This is your first time sieging a castle of this size. You can expect it to be similar to taking Fort Romulus. Fort Romulus was tiny compared to Castle Winnea. There are many castle walls, and I'm sure there will be guards on watch. We must pick a route and attack immediately. If we don't make a detailed plan, time will be wasted and our men will tire quickly, making them easy targets. As in Romulus, there are no strongholds to be liberated. Your men will find healing, but cannot regroup. Alright, so you know the rules, it's just like before. No places to liberate, only places to rest. Let's concentrate on the goal at hand. I think at this point it's almost certain that yumo has gone off the deep end. We've got to do something about this. Legions cannot be used. They have disbanded. Oh boo hoo. Alright, let's get moving. Bolt, I'm going to send you in the middle. Morris will go with you. Wind, I'm going to send you further east. And I'll send Jody with you. Then I'll send Leia up north. And she will go with me. And from there, I will start spreading folks out. Kane can go north with me. Count. Unfortunately, cannot do anything. Ankh-Seth can stay in the middle. And Kodro is going to be my scout unit to the east. By the way, speaking of Kodro, in between episodes, I went ahead and changed his alignment to completely neutral. He should be at roughly 50. So, hopefully that'll make it easier for future liberations, as I've been ignoring liberating for a while, due to the unfortunate reality of the alignment system. Why is Kodro... He doesn't have the figurine of Sleipnir. Oops! I had to do some item duplication glitch to make sure I had enough of the item to make people lawful, 
And apparently I forgot to re-equip his unit with the figurine of Sleipnir. Oh well, looks like for one episode, Kodro is going to be as mortal as the rest of us. I'm going to go ahead and have my uh, the units up north break through pretty much right away because I don't not because we're not going to be at a point where we need to camp yet. Whereas other units might be. All right. Leia, I'll have you knock, knock, knock on the door. Kane and I will watch your back. Alright, she's breaking it down. And we see that there's already a unit there. <laughs> Bolt's doing the same. Alright, so I'm going to start moving everybody to that rest area. Oops, meant to move Leia. Except Leia, who will move here. I want to try and get everybody inside the first area before we move on. Bolt and Morris can go to the rest area. And we've got a Black Knight on our tail. Ankaseth, head for the rest area as well. Remember that the time limit that does exist in this level is actually several hours. I think like two or three. So you've got plenty of time to do everything you want to. Well, go ahead and meet him on the battlefield. Ingram? No. Leon. Not a terribly difficult opponent. Especially for one of Bolt's skill. Wow, look at the damage that did to a gremlin. I'm going to point it out anytime Jihad deals significant damage. You better believe I will with how much trouble I went through to make sure I have units that could use it. Abyss, not asleep. That is very bad news for you guys. Because we still have a full row of attacks. So unless you can manage to put him to sleep now... Ah, well, that's fine. We still just killed your Opernicus. But if he wasn't asleep, that would have been a complete party wipe. Hey, a witch! That's interesting. And this paladin decided to face me in battle. This was a mis- Damn Hydra. Mistake. Almost cleared out their leader. This Hydra does worry me though. It might actually pose a threat to my unit. Got the, uh, the leader though. I was gonna say got the Paladin, but I'll, the, venue, the question is which one? I'm going to use... It's a risk. It's a risk. I'm going to hold off and be ready to run in case I have to. My entire front row blocked the spell. That's pretty damn impressive right there. And I lose! Wow! Did not expect that. All right, Kane. I'm gonna have you hunt him down. I need to field pause because Leia's getting in more trouble than I thought she was. I need to have her hold off and move west. That's one down. 
You know what would be fantastic is if you guys dropped Valiant Mantles when I killed you. That'd be great. Two of them, actually. Yeah, let's have one unit drop two Valiant Mantles. I know it's impossible, but I can dream. Alright, you guys have two more attacks left. Make them count. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It really is. The three biggest threats in that unit are now gone. <laughs> Alright, at this point, Bolt, I think it's safe to move you there. Let's head north. Leia Mansell. Looks like he's threatening you. So tell him hi from me. Huh. Nazi Dahaka. Show them what we think of Ozzy Dahakas, ladies. Asleep perfect. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. And now the other dragon's asleep. Very effective, very effective. I like it a lot. It recovered and then was immediately put to sleep by the evil sword. Sucks to be you guys! Keep chasing him, Leia. Oh, this will be cake. Dragons in the front row, I mean, and immediately put to sleep. <laughs> And gone. With that out of the way, Leia is going to be ready to attack the person guarding that gate anytime soon. We have a witch over here that should be on her way, and we also have a sorceress, Sybil. Not much of a threat. Let's see. I'll send Ankaseth. No, Ankaseth needs rest, apparently. I'll just let them come to me then. Oops, Kane's fighting the wrong paladin. Oh well, have fun, Kane. They all have blessed swords except for the one in the middle. But it looks like his is. Holy Elemental anyway, and holy shit! That was very close. Now the question is... Do I trust Kane to survive and use an Elemental Pedra? Or do I run? I don't know if I'll be fast enough on the... I don't know, yeah. I won't be fast enough on the reaction time. If I don't run, if they all focus fired Kane again, he'd be dead. I can't believe they all focus fired him and he would, had like that few of hit points. Upside, he now gets to fight Gilliam and his Hydra. Poor Hydra is going to get ignored apparently. Whatever. And our Diana is doing work with that bow. Owie. Yes, heal your petrified comrade. Because that's not a waste of resources. Attack his petrified comrade, because that's not a waste of resources. Come on! Better command of your team, Kane. Tell them to stop being useless. Oh, well, that's far less useless. 
statue of a hydra just standing in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I wonder what that thing is. I heard revive stones can turn things that are statues into real things. Let's do it. And then everybody dies. That's just how I imagine the scenario. Alright, so we just decided to fight Bolt. Your funeral, lady. I was curious what spell she had. Not curious anymore. Man, that is way too much damage. Whatever guide tried to tell me that fencers were useless can go screw off. They obviously never didn't have fencers at this high a level with the equipment fencers can use. And we found an evil axe. That's not a loaded item name description. Oh no, single paladin. And dead and petrified, Hydra. Oh no, he healed him. That's not completely useless use of your turn at all. Hey, now your AI only can heal yourself! At, l at least before you had options. Now you only have one option. Die. Or be petrified. Are we still gonna have to chase his unit? Or does that mean the unit's dead? It's dead. Wind Arma. All right, time for you to rest. Time for you to rest. Time for me to go say hi to Nicholson. Morris, go say hi. Wow, all of you are still moving. Jody, you all need rest. Might as well do it before you're automatically forced to. Pumpkin heads. Goody. Oh, way too much damage. Slice them into bits. Come on, meteor strike. I know you can do it. Kill both pumpkin heads. Yes. All right. Oh, wait, don't do that. Whew. That would have been very annoying. And now to wipe out the rest of your unit. We still got to lime it down, even though that was probably a fairly chaotic unit. I guess we're just a lot more chaotic than they are. Senskin. Senskin? Senskin? I don't know. And Angusseth. Go say hi to those gentlemen over there. In the meantime, Norris, huh? Let's see if Bolt's unit is ready for a fight. They are. Go say hi to Norris. Nicholson, Nicholson, Nicholson. Ah, yes. You are the Assassin Paladins. Now you are the two knights and two healers. Congratulations. Any remnant of threat you had is now gone. Oh no, they combined their healing magic. 
Oops, too bad. Thankfully, all the healing that this, my unit needed has now been made up for. Haven't actually killed anyone until just now. Took a little while. And if we only kill one unit, we get 100 experience. One character in the unit. I'm sorry, two characters in the unit. We get 100 experience for our, our Seraphim. And boy, she needs the experience. That'll do nicely. And now you only have one healer. I almost feel sorry for you. Emphasis on almost. And he'll be able to do that three times, folks. How big of a threat is that? Oops. Not a threat anymore. <laughs> Curse those critical hits. They show up when you least expect them. And you're dead. And another ding for our Seraphim. She's catching up nicely. Rickleback. I'll go ahead and move in. Everybody else? No, she needs rest. He needs rest. They need a lot of rest. That's right, resting takes a lot longer, I think. Boosh! I'll let them come to me. Since I'm not ready to break down any of the other walls yet. Eh, just go on ahead, guys. Bolt and Norse. Just gotta break through an ogre to get to the Archmage's face. Not that big a deal. Except for Jihad. Jihad two more times and he's dead. Guard. Nicely done, Bolt. Another guard. Owie. And there's your Hawkman gone. I guess it'll take one more, one more Jihad, but I think we'll break through the Ogre this turn anyway. Yep. So should I... I should probably just break through this wall, this heat text. Hmm. I should break through this door now. I'll have Morris come to back you up. And they're stuck on a building. So who are you? Vector, Ketafract. Pretty much the exact same formation, except it's not Hawkman, it's Paladins. And instead of something that's useful in the back row, he has a Cataphract. Dead. And only one more left. It really sucks to be you demons, you know? Always at somebody else's beck and call. Summoned to this world, probably against your will. Then when you try and conquer everything, we show up. You're just in a bad situation no matter what's going on. And the lonely gargoyle. Come on, give me a Valiant Mantle. That'd be awesome. That's not a Valiant Mantle. 
Stop changing my camera angle. That's not what I meant to do. That'll have to do. Come on, guys, seriously? You're still walking? Might as well make our way inside. And the cataphract finally found me. Only took you a couple minutes of wandering. And jihad. Not enough to take out the ogre, but I mean, wasn't really expecting that. I was expecting it to be softened up enough so, so that next attack can knock it out. Ow! No crits. Oh right, the healing. Sometimes I forget they do that. Even though we've seen plenty of examples of them doing just that in this exact scene. Leave me alone. Well, this is going to get annoying fast. Let's solve the problem, shall we? Yes, that'll do nicely, thank you. Ooh, very good crit. Ah, uh, we don't have another Jihad, that's right. Well done, Seraphim. Uh, apparently they're stuck in the doorway. <laughs> I was like, hmm, maybe I should send my my unit out to look for them. Oh, they're still right here, I just can't see them. Well, that's the end of them. Earth Javelin, not terribly useful. Get Leia out there and Kane. Only one more gate to go. Only one more rest area. And these folks haven't even breached the outer wall yet. Might as well keep everybody moving to go towards the central rest area. I'm not seeing any enemies along the way. Oh, well, there's one. I'm sure she'll find us soon enough. You're good to go. Head you in. And these folks need to rest before they break down that door. Why is Kojiro so far behind them? That's odd. He should be at least as fast as the rest of them. Oh, hey, look! Your demon is exposed. That, that's not a euphemism. Your demon is right there and easy to be killed. Meteor strike! On a team that's really bad with magic defense. Wonder what'll happen. That. <laughs> Triple digits per enemy. Ow. Leave my Black Knights alone. And Firestorm to soften them up, and Meteor Strike to finish them all off. Buh bye Whoever it was in the comments that told me that Liches attack three times in the back row, because apparently I didn't notice, 
Thank you! Eh, Bolt, do you need rest? No. You can start heading north. <laughs> but Morris needs to help Ankaseth. Wind, open the door. Get a little closer. There we go. These controls aren't clunky at all. <laughs> 